Hey, Julie Muse here, and today what I wanna to talk to you about is how do you find the right realtor to work with like Miss Robbie here? I get this question a lot. What, what are some of the things you might look for in an agent to kind of get you to that next level? Because working with an agent when you're a real estate investor is super, super important. So I've got Miss Robbie here. She actually lists everything for us. Yes, mm -hmm. I do, and I always appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Um, one of the things you want to look for is are they full-time in the business? Are they, if they're part-time, they may not be the right agent for you. They may not be able to have the time to invest in looking for properties and comping properties. And working with an investor is a lot of extra, you know, digging so that you can find the right mm -hmm. property and the right comps um, for an investor. Mm -hmm. uh, but some other good characteristics are, you know, you want to look for someone who always um, does what they say they're going to do. Someone who, I wrote, I wrote a few things down, who are honest, um, seem to have integrity, you can look at their reviews. Um, mm -hmm. I think that it's important to um, not be a brand new person in the business mm -hmm. unless they really have some severe um, uh, background skill in uh, a sales background. You're probably going to want someone that has been in the business for a while, understands the process, understands the negotiating process, understands the language, understands an investor grade property versus an okay. agent that's brand new might not understand what an investor grade property is. They're used to doing very vanilla deals and very nice neighborhoods and so. We've done some ugly ones, haven't we? <laughs> we uh, they're not all beautiful. They are always when we end, but not when we begin. Um, mm -hmm. And unfortunately, there's just agents that really do not understand mm -hmm. an investor grade property when they walk through it. Mm -hmm. So um, responsiveness, if you've put out some you know, phone messages and you yourself can't get a call back, if you list with that agent, they're not gonna be returning calls from other agents that are looking for information. So you definitely want a responsiveness um, in a person, you definitely want someone to be able to respond uh, when even you are trying to get a hold of them. Mm -hmm. um, you want to um, have good communication skills. This is what I'm looking for in a property. You want them to hear that. You want them to understand and be able to communicate properly. You want to feel like you're getting through. So look for someone that does understand exactly what you're looking for, the, the kind of property you're looking for, that you don't want to go over this. You know, you don't want two bedrooms. You know, I don't want one bathroom. Those are hard to sell. Mm -hmm. um, you want the three and twos. Those mm -hmm. are the ones you want to look for. Um, you don't want to be talked into anything. And also negotiation skills. You definitely want someone who is not brand new that can go back, talk to Lingo and say, look, you and me can work this out. Let's let's get to the bottom. Let's let's come to a, a resolution. Let's let's get this property sold. Let's get this under contract. And someone who is good at negotiating is going to be the right agent for you. So, well, guys, I things. really, I really hope that helps. And and Robbie, you know, while we've got captive audience here, for any of you that are looking to buy or sell a property here in North Atlanta area, Robbie, how do they get in contact with you? You can call me seven seven zero three six six zero six six two. I do list all of um, Peter and Julie's properties um, and several of their friends, and I definitely do understand what it takes. So. Yes. All right. So what I would love for you to do is leave some comments below. Give me some ideas. What do you think makes a good realtor somebody that they could look for? Because I would love to hear what your opinion is too. So go ahead and leave that in the comment box below. And, you know, thank you for following me on all social media platforms, including YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. And thank you so much.